in the education dialogue, uh, it seems that um, there was one consensus about the fact that we need uh, to work on more practical, well, to have students uh, trained in a more practical way, uh, the project-based learning, um, and all these things were uh, mentioned a lot, as well as developing their entrepreneurial uh, soft skills, or well, skills at least, but soft skills, uh, generally speaking, not only about entrepreneurship. One point was also made about the uh, needed uh, harmonization about the technical competencies uh, through different countries. A good point was raised about what would technical competencies be different uh, if you are from Morocco, if you are from Spain, for instance, uh, in, a, in a training. And last but not least, and of course in, uh, in Kik, it's one of, in, it's in our core business, in our DNA, it's the need of um, multicultural, international, well-traveled uh, people. Because the connection between the south and the north will start by knowing each other better. Number two, about infrastructure. Uh, we noticed um, a, a, a need for standardization that was not existing when it was based on big uh, research infrastructures, such as in nuclear or things like that in which people would gather around the same object, or so the procedures of the testing procedures were almost the same, but now we have distributed uh, research infrastructure platforms. That, and then, therefore, we need to work on a standardization about the protocols, the tests, and all these things. Um, we noticed all the interests that we took as a decision in the consortium to classify all the research infrastructures in the project based on the ESFRIC uh, criteria uh, that will help us probably uh, to keep on moving towards this um, database that we will keep, uh, keep up. And the last one was about coordination, the needed coordination, because if you have distributed platform, uh, it's essential to exchange the data as uh, you collect uh, through all the platform to have them at once, especially, and we saw that when we wrote the Magrenov roadmaps that were adapted to the local conditions, uh, because you can test something in totally different conditions if you test them in Sweden. Well, would you test solar panel in Sweden? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> or in Morocco, anyway. Uh, about the third dialogue, about business creation, uh, the things that uh, were relevant is, of course, we need to support entrepreneurs, we all know that, we all work on that, we all do that, uh, but we also think, and it has been uh, pointed out, that this is also linked to the first dialogue of the day, to education. This is a spirit, uh, it's not only about uh, being trained, it's about we are in a changing world, we all know that now we're not going to enter a company in which we will uh, last until we retire if we retire anyway. So <laughs> uh, but now we will need to change job, we will need to be more open. Uh, some like futurist economists are already discussing the fact that being employed might be an old concept already. Uh, and we, we, we need to also train people uh, that can work under that um, mind skin. The second one in, on which I partially disagree <laughs> was about funding. Uh, not because startups they don't need funding, they need funding, of course, but they don't only need a check and they can live with a check. You know, in, in Kicks, that's not what we do. We provide funding on agreed services. So we fund, we, we agree on what is needed, we mentor, we coach, we help, and of course, in the end, we fund, but we fund something that is agreed, has been agreed upon before, upfront. So I would not only be on the funding part, but funding as part of um, 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 a sidewalk with entrepreneurs. And the last one that hasn't been mentioned, but I think can be taken as a result of the day, and it's something that we are all discussing since uh, decades, it's a public procurement. Uh, when you are a startup, in energy, it's very likely that some of your clients will be public. And if the public sector doesn't give the example and doesn't place the first orders for demonstrators, prototypes, if, if we don't apply what has been created but not really applied, which is a kind, some kind of innovation business act uh, towards a startup in the world of energy, it's very likely that uh, they will fail because the first private client will always tell them, can you show me one up and running somewhere in the world? So I think this is something we all need to keep in mind. I know, uh, for instance, Jay was discussing before, which is uh, from Elios Life, one of our startup. Uh, his first client is um, Iresen. 
and it helps him a lot, of course. Uh, so I think this part of public procurement for innovative product or services uh, is key.